my kids, we did a lot of movement with it. So um, like the mental math, we did that on the swing set every day, or my child would ride their, if it was raining, they would ride their scooter around the garage while I asked them the mental math problems. And my two little ones have ADHD. So that really helped their brains kind of settle enough to focus on doing the math mentally. Whereas if they were sitting in a chair, they would be so distracted that they wouldn't be able to do the math mentally. Like they have to have that pencil and whatnot. And so getting them moving allowed their brain to kind of do that mental math part. But also in the Charlotte Mason arithmetic series, like the, the problems were, I felt like they really do build on each other. So the problems would be like, there's seven sheep on one hill and six cows on another. How many animals are on the farm or something like that, you know? But once they get to be doing those with manipulatives, then they should really be able to start doing it mentally. I mean, it just depends on the kids. Some kids need to use manipulatives longer than other kids. Some kids just start. Um, my son who's um, in third grade now still feels the need to explain to me mentally how he does every problem. So he can't just go do his math problems by himself. I need to sit there while he tells me, like, it could be like, what was it today? It was like nine plus five plus six in the ones column. And he's adding them up and he's like, well, I would take a one from the five and I would add it to the nine. And then I'd be left with four. And I'm like, what's the answer? <laughs> but he's got so used to doing this all mentally um, and talking me through it. So I guess that's narration. So I shouldn't be upset, but um, it just takes forever. But there's the books, the Strayer Upton books. If they're starting to get, you know, you feel like the Charlotte Mason arithmetic is a little repetitive. Um, the Strayer Upton has some cute things in it. They had like a store activity that we did um, that was super fun. You know, bringing in some math games too, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. But there is, even though it's very simple, having that repetition every day. And there's really something that's like beautiful about um, simplicity <laughs> sometimes. And we don't necessarily see the fruit right away as if we're giving them crutches maybe in some of the other math curriculums to do the problems quickly and easily that they kind of have to slowly go it's like a little tortoise there so i didn't write that book and i'm definitely not a math expert but that's my two cents after being through the first two levels of that with my kids